Hello everyone. Today I am going to share some tips on how to grow as a Gashatuber. But before we start. Please keep in mind that these are just tips to hopefully help you and nothing is guaranteed, but hopefully after watching this video you'll know some things that will potentially help you grow. Number 1. Expanding your content. Expanding your content is when you upload your content onto multiple platforms. For example, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok etc. are all great places you can be uploading your gacha content. Why is this so helpful? Uploading your content onto different apps gives you the chance to show your content to more people. Even if you are just reposting your work from other platforms you can still benefit a lot from this and get your name around to more people resulting in more subscribers. There are people on other platforms who could potentially really like your content. You can post a video for example on YouTube and it flop, but on TikTok it could blow up. So just remember to always take your chances. Number 2. Branding. Branding is super important because it's how people will remember you. It is important that you have an original character, as well as an original username that people will remember you by. I would recommend that you create a main character and try not to change it, or if you do want to change it just try not to change it so frequently. You want people to remember you and that's going to be hard if you are constantly changing. The same goes for your username, you should have a short username that is easy to remember. This will be good so that people can easily search for you and they aren't going to have a struggle remembering the 20 numbers you might have added to your username. Number 3. Reputation. To all of the small creators out there, please be wary about your reputation. Try to always think about the things you say and do online as it can come back to you and you can be exposed. If you ruin your reputation you can become disliked in the community and receive hate and lose subscribers. Remember that you don't need to be problematic or do anything out of pocket for clout, be yourself and have fun. Number 4. Hashtags and Keywords. Hashtags are a great way for you to reach more people. Using hashtags help YouTube categorize your content and recommend your stuff to people similar. If you can, always try to use hashtags in your description and make sure you use relevant hashtags to the video you are making. As for keywords, did you know the words in your description or title can also help YouTube recommend your videos to the right people? I recommend for the first few lines of your description you briefly explain what happens in your video to help this. Number 5. Thumbnails. Creating a good thumbnail is a good way to increase your views. Your thumbnail needs to stand out enough so that people are more likely to click on your video. Your thumbnail should basically just be a preview of the video, and it should give viewers a small idea of what you are offering. Remember that adding tons and tons of detail doesn't necessarily mean your thumbnails are the best, sometimes it's better to be simple as you don't want things to look messy and unclear. Try to make things big and clear to ensure people know what to expect. Number 6. This is a quick one. But please please get straight to the point. Don't waste time on your videos with a whole minute intro and waffling because honestly people will appreciate you getting to the point. I know that sounds harsh, but in around the first 10 seconds of someone watching your video they will already have decided if they want to stay or leave. It doesn't take long for someone to click off your video, so make sure you get straight to it so that people instantly know the video will be of value to them. Those first few seconds at the start of your video are super important. Number 7. Shorts. YouTube Shorts are also a great way to grow your audience if you post them frequently. Use trending songs and try to keep up on the latest trends for a higher chance of blowing up. You can try tweening, post a speed paint or create something relatable. And lastly, be consistent. I wish you the best of luck on growing your channels, let me know if you want a part 2 or comment down below ideas for my next video. I hope this was helpful.